Hello denizens of the internet, you're taking a look at an instructional screencast from GearWire.com. My name is Dan, and we're taking a look at a little, a few tricks you can do in uh, Sonar. This is Sonar 6. Um, this spans across virtually every current uh, version of Sonar uh, from, I believe, 3 up. So uh, if you're taking a look at this uh, and you don't have Sonar 6, uh, you're probably can still use the information in this video. And this one, we're going to be looking at some interesting metronome features uh, included in Sonar. Um, so right now, we have, just for an example, this is just a MIDI track, and we see there's an, an event over here way off in the distance, and that's just there to make the transport move. If there's no events, you press play, and the time code will just not move. So I've just put that there. It's not going to anything. And as you can see, when we press play, time code starts marching along. We don't hear anything though because we don't have our metronome properly set up. Under the options menu uh, we have to go to the project selection. And let's get that dialog in frame. And as you can see uh, I've already clicked over to the uh, metronome tab. It usually starts on the clock tab. And, uh, but uh, here we are on the metronome tab and I'm going to show you how I like to set up uh, my metronome for a project. I usually leave the record count in at zero because I prefer to use the first measure as a count in. I, can, I, I think when you're using an artificial t uh, count in like this, you can sometimes get false starts on the first downbeat. And over here, uh, we have, uh, you can actually turn it off, turn the metronome off completely, or just leave it on when you're recording. I like to actually check the playback so that it plays back at all times. And I'll, I'll tell you a little more about that later. And over here we see it's uh, standard to set up a, on a MIDI note, and down here you can see the controls for that. But the easiest way to use the audio, or the metronome, is in fact uh, with the audio uh, functionalities. You can select different sounds, we won't really mess with that just yet, we'll get into that a little later. And now here's a little trick. Um, in Sonar, uh, I usually set up a group of buses, of course I have my master bus, my subgroup, uh, bus and my effects and bus um, and then this bus over here is just for the purposes of this video that's the send out to the re audio recorder so what I'm actually gonna do is uh, for the time being use our subgroup bus I'm gonna send the output of our of our metronome to the subgroup and that goes back to why I'm actually letting it play back and here I'll show you as soon as we Go over here, go back to our transport, start, press, press play. We can hear our metronome just fine. And one of the reasons that I do prefer to send it out to a bus and let it play back and everything, I can mute it anytime. I don't have to go open up that, uh, that dialog and uh, turn it on and off. I can also control the level. As you can see, it's pretty hot. It was actually clipping. So I brought down the input gain of the bus. And then if you want, you could actually put effects on your metronome. Um, you already have all the functionality of uh, being able to control the volume. And maybe if you want to use your metronome as an instrument, put some reverb on it or something like that. Could be fun. Uh, you can also change the sounds. If we go back to our dialog, again, options, project, and on the metronome tab. As you can see, um, for the f uh, there's a different sample used for the first beat and all other beats. So the down beat is usually the most important. You can select all sorts of things. Um, lots of people like to use uh, sticks, uh, things like that. I'm interested in hearing this uh, eerie click. I'm going to set the click one to the first beat and click two to the second beat. And I'm not sure exactly what we're going to get out of this, so let's see. So just kind of like a little white noise burst, it seems. So yeah, that's how I like to set up my metronome. And as you can see, there's it, it, it makes things a lot easier. Like if you, if you just need to turn your metronome off, you know, to listen back, you just have to mute your subgroup. You don't have to do anything in the menus. And then when you bring it back, let's say a player... Uh, you're, you're tracking drums and your drummer just can't hear it. You can just go ahead and crank that up and 
Sorry if that was too loud for your speakers, but he might blast out his ears, but at least he'll be playing in time. Uh, so that's the instructional video on a few tips, uh, things you can do with the metronome in Sonar. Thanks for checking it out.